Hello, it's Maxine. Um, today I want to do another video based off of the Jubilee um, YouTube channel. They uh, have some pretty awesome discussions just about I got a notification <laughs> just about where people stand on different subjects and just to prove that obviously like or how similar and how different different groups of people are whether it be scientists or flat earthers or <laughs> um gay straight autistic not neurotypical all of the everything and anything and I really enjoy it so um, this is the first time any of my videos where I'm just speaking and it's not about something else has gotten more than like, I don't know, a hundred views. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. And so this one I wanted to do, my dogs are here. So there's going to be all kinds of noise in the background. Two cats, two dogs. Lots of sighs and snores and dreaming and playing and chasing. <laughs> oh yeah, Ninj jumping off the counter and the whole camera shaking. Because <laughs> I live in a travel trailer. I'm like mid paint job so it's not perfect right now but everything needs to be like very white and bright and I... Um, I just wanted everything to be a lot darker, more my aesthetic. I like everything like black and <laughs> I wanted to pick like the darkest purple I could find, which I think I did a pretty good job on. And yeah, it's going to come together really nice. It's going to be like black, purple with like gold accents on like my um, cabinets and things like that. Oh my God, Rainy. My dogs are acting so dehydrated, like, please go drink water. <laughs> They're like, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Okay, I'm super ADHD right now. That's what I, um, I made a comment on my last video about is that I haven't really said much about ADHD because before I even officially got diagnosed, I've heard several times that, uh, ADHD and autis autism is like linked so I don't know if they're just gonna like be putting it on the spectrum of like or they go hand in hand so I don't know I guess like that's why it's a bit confusing for me so I'm like okay so just all autistic people have it or that obviously isn't the case because there's some autistic people who probably don't have it and that's why they can like really hyper fixate and retain so much information me, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Uh, squirrel. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, yeah, I just want to make a video. And now my cat's clobbering the door. And what next? <laughs> okay, calm down. So, um, let's see. What have I even said so far? <laughs> Um, I am like super distracted, <laughs> but okay. I want to make this video shorter for one. So I'm kind of try to like, not, I haven't wrote down what I would respond with, but I just wrote down the questions for the, uh, do all autistic people think the same with Jubilee? And it's like strongly agree, um, somewhat agree, kind of neutral, and then strongly disagree and somewhat disagree so I don't know if I'm gonna like with my last video I'm able to kind of see both sides a lot so I don't know where I'm gonna be if I'm gonna even go with that or just explain my um opinion or give different examples I definitely need to come up with a better setup because you're <laughs> you're like you're in the room with me but um like look at how much it's shaking because you're on like a 
craft kit on top of a TV tray on top of a shaky ground. <laughs> Do all autistic people think the same? And I'm just going to read the exact same questions. Um, I give credit to where I got the questions from with Jubilee and I link the um, original video in the description. So I'm hoping that's enough to avoid like getting in trouble in some way, but I kind of have a feeling that they will just appreciate, like, first of all, it depends how far and wide my video goes, which the last video that I did relating to their topics of, um, autism versus neurotypical, like, opinions, it's actually doing a lot better than all my other videos that I've done where it's just about me and not, like, shorts. But anyway, so, um, no Bubba. He's trying to jump on this table, and if he jumps on this table, then the phone drops. So now I'm just going to be mean and in a bad mood, and my cat's mad at me. <laughs> Bubba. No. like what the hell's going on now rainy's coming to have a look everyone thought i was about to croak <laughs> okay anyways back to, that's not funny but hey rainy say hi she has a special eye it's half blue half <laughs> brown Everyone says she's so old, but she's part border collie and she's always had a little white since she was a puppy. It's just getting gradually more and more and everyone keeps calling her an old dog lately and I'm like, <laughs> I treat her nice. She's not old. Well, you're just a little black and white. People are judging. <laughs> Baba no. Down. Okay. So, did I even answer one yet? <laughs> I keep just repeating myself, saying the same thing over and over. Um, anyway, so I consider the term special offensive. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, like, there's no reason to be using that in the first place. You're just going to be insulting whoever you're speaking about. And actually, like, I have a very specific example of why I don't like this certain word. Um, so I guess strongly agree. I think that special is offensive. I think we should be using proper terminology like autistic or you know they have down syndrome or um adhd or there's a million things tourette syndrome like to say special is just rude and undermining and like essentially calling the person stupid which is really unfair and that is something that like, bothered me about my last video that i made like when I was joking about how having to take that IQ test and being told my IQ is a lot lower than I thought. <laughs> it's still making me laugh. Like, that's not right because, like, I would never laugh at somebody who has, like, an extremely low IQ. Like, knowing what I know now, like, maybe back in the day when I was in high school and hanging out with, like, jerks who... <sighs> made fun of me and everyone else. Um, anyway, special to me kind of goes hand in hand with like the R word. And so, yes, I don't like that. Like use it, using it in other words to describe like, oh, a special relationship or, oh, that was a really special occasion. Something like that. That is different but to use it towards a person I think is just not right 
Anyway, next, I have trouble making friends. So I think I talked about this in the last video, that question. So this video we're doing today is based on a video. I can't remember how long ago. <laughs> I'm looking at Rainy like she has the answer. And Rainy is looking at me like, what the? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All my animals are big babies and they want all the attention. No, Ninja, no. She's jumpy. Ninja, say hi. Hi, Meow Meow. I can't do anything in here. That's why I go in my car. Now I remember why I do my videos in my car. <laughs> Rainy. <laughs> okay, I'm losing it. It's getting a bit late and I need to go to bed after this. <laughs> Okay, so I have trouble making friends. Um, early on when I was really young and like ex my, before I've come like a long way in my autistic journey, yes. Uh, and I feel like now today as an adult, I can make friends easily and up maybe from middle school all the way to now, like I can make friends easily, but the problem is I cannot maintain relationships easily. Like I was trying to say about how my two friends I had made since I moved here to BC from Manitoba. Um, like, it's just complex. And it's really sad because I think I do, um, what's it called when you sabotage yourself like I sabotage myself but uh, I've slowly been getting out of these habits but as I say as well it's just so com complicated um as I said as well that there's more to it than just there's just so much to it I um this video is not going to be short none of them are ever short but uh, I think like a lot of us, I um, yeah, I think I'm having more and more trouble making friendships because I said in my last video that I've been isolating myself and sort of like distancing myself intentionally so I just don't get hurt because in certain areas like where I live or at work, I keep a separation because those are places where you don't want you especially don't want things to go wrong because if you're like living and working in close proximity with someone and the relationship heads in a different direction than it was then it kind of like can just make things really uncomfortable so I'm trying to learn from those experiences and it makes me fearful and it it just really sucks. Like a lot of people don't set all these kinds of rules for themselves, but I've just been through so much that I'm kind of regressing in some ways, unfortunately. But okay, the next question is being diagnosed with autism helped me understand myself more. 1001 percent like infinity i just i did not even know what autism was for the longest time my knowledge of it was um and i'm not trying to say this in a rude way but it was like the level three where you're um you just like emotional or possibly nonverbal or um unable to work, maybe living assisted. Like, I think I started to understand, like, it's just really, okay, I didn't know I was. Maybe I heard about it a bit, like, in high school or something, but I still kind of just, like, didn't know anything about it. Like, I was like, oh, okay, they're, like, people, oh, they're autistic and they get bullied. Like, that's all I knew. I didn't really know what it was about. And people always used to make comments to me like, oh, you like kind of eye contact and stuff like that, which I do have a huge problem with. Like I have such a huge problem with eye contact that even like looking at myself and I should be looking at wherever we're recording. 
but <laughs> it just feels like really uncomfortable to me and then on at other times I like stare too deeply into someone's eyes like either if I'm trying to show respect or I just kind of start like sometimes when people are talking to me I'm like instantly creating images in my head of whatever they're talking about or sometimes <laughs> maybe I'm drifting off thinking of other things I don't know or what I'm planning to say and stuff but um back to <laughs> being diagnosed yes it was like a complete relief like one of the best moments in my life was being diagnosed officially because as I started to piece everything together and it's like just because I can kind of talk in this video and reflect in a lot of ways that some people might not be able to do that's just like literally from years of masking to the point where I it was for survival and I also was forced to babysit at a young age I was forced to work at a young age I was forced to volunteer at a young age I went to girl guides at a young age so I kind of just and I was forced to grow up at a young age because of the household issues and so <laughs> now my cat's playing with me <sighs> so I just think if I hadn't had all those other experiences like who knows where I'd be in terms of um just communication because like when I was really young I well even up until high school college everything I like was really like locked in my mind where sometimes I wanted to say something and I just couldn't I couldn't or I'd think of the right thing to say way later or even the next day and then finally when I got into serving like that kind of forced me out of my comfort zone and and here I am today, like I've had my own home daycare, I have been successful in some ways in my life, but even with my home daycare, that was still before being diagnosed. And yeah, it was kind of interesting because I had autistic kids a few times on a few occasions and I started thinking, wow, that was kind of like me and, and like, and then one of the boys was kind of repeating things in the same pattern I was speaking. Like, I kind of speak softer, maybe like, you know, like more sweetly to the little kids. And then he was kind of mimicking me. But then I'm like, wait, am I mimicking him or is he mimicking me? Like, <laughs> I think I like have adapted a bit like a chameleon because of survival. Um... Anyway, but to not twist it into like a negative, um, being diagnosed with autism has helped me understand myself more is like an absolute strongly agree because without that, I would still be like really lost today. And if I was told, if I didn't have like a very supportive, um, psychologist who like really did a deep dive and asked all the right questions and did all the right tests, like. I I would just oh because I do want to make another video someday about BPD because I feel like the medical field for some reason will pass that off as a diagnosis for women especially and I know people do have it I'm not denying it as a diagnosis but um there was maybe a time in my life where a lot of those characteristics what I was going through did line up but not so much with age and for quite a long time actually like probably close to eight nine years now like I've gotten can, like I don't know if that means you can beat your BPD but in my mind I think looking back it just makes a lot more sense that I was just autistic because sensory needs overload like getting irritable like meltdowns um, not like the self-harm thankfully like when I was really young like it was those ideations or whatever but not action and 
there's various forms of abusing yourself, but um, that wasn't something that I did. And, um, and I'm very sorry to the people who do go through that, but, um, I just don't want to get emotional because I really, I am an emotional person and I cry easily. So I'm trying to quickly brush past that. So, um, next. Oh, it bothers me when people, I hope that's right bothers I just wrote it kind of messy maybe it says it bothers me when people pity me um I don't know I don't feel like I've been given a lot of pity I feel like I've just been judged and or I've been like I don't know, compared to all the time or like, like instead of just people hearing me and what I have to say, it's just like, it's always, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be nice. I don't know what pity even means really to, like feeling sorry for you, I guess. Ninja. Uh, maybe it'd be nice to be pitied for a while. <laughs> I should look up the di uh, the um this I should look up the uh definition of that after but I don't know. I guess I feel like completely in the middle and that I just don't really know like if um Maybe I pity, even though I feel so great about being diagnosed and it feels good and it makes me understand myself and maybe I still pity myself in some ways with it all because like, would I like to be fully functioning and not have some of the problems I have? Probably, but then I do see the good side of just being me and I'm happy to be me and getting diagnosed has made me feel like, a feel good about myself for the first time in my life practically okay next is I guess there's only two more questions hmm I wonder if that means I missed something or or if it just wasn't that many questions hmm or I just have finally well no we're 20 minutes in and then I have other little videos so it's still gonna be like a half hour plus video <laughs> anyway um <clears throat> I would rather not have autism um I just I agree with what someone said in the video I don't know the name of the person but if I didn't have autism I wouldn't be me and to be honest, even though I do struggle a lot in so many ways, I am still proud to be me because especially with Aja, I've just learned to stand up for myself and my rights and I've learned to stand up for others and I'm just very passionate about things and I, even though it sucks to kind of lack a filter sometimes, I think I say things to people that sort of like that they need to hear sometimes. Like people have no problem judging me sometimes and for a long time I just would take it and maybe I'd get upset but I wouldn't have like know how to respond to that or say the right thing but now it's like I'm a lot better at standing up for myself. I still have moments where someone will say something or you know when people they're saying something and it's not very direct it's kind of like speaking in riddles. I used to have a problem with that where it doesn't doesn't register till later and it's kind of too late to say something and then you want and then I think about it for like the rest of the night and then maybe I'll bring it up the next day or just things like that um I think you know being 35 years old and still having a lot that I haven't experienced there's a lot of amazing things I've experienced that 
a lot of people might not ever get the chance to experience and I'm th so thankful for all those those things whether it be from traveling to having my own vehicle and going to all these amazing concerts in my life and having my pets and having a home having had my own business for a little bit um but you know things like relationships and love like especially like in intimate relationships with men is like one area I really lacked in that I like it hurts a lot because all my life I wanted like to have my own family because of the way I was raised and how awful it was and I just wanted to have my own kids who loved me unconditionally and to start fresh in a way and do things right in my mind but with that missing component I and not being ready right now anyways like um but you know I did hear something this past year from a lady who said she didn't even have her first child she till she was in her 40s and she has no regrets about that and she said that it was like the best decision and she like she has a teenage daughter now and it just made me think like you know that is true it's never too late and I could adopt someday or maybe I could foster I had those years of babysitting and having a home daycare for four years like a professional daycare tax receipts and all <laughs> but um back to the question would I in some ways yes in some ways no but uh I think now compared to ever before like I'll say um strongly disagree that I would like to have autism because yeah I'm just proud of myself so next is I know I go on tangents and then I'm like okay well usually I can get back to the point but tonight I feel very frazzled <laughs> but the next is um okay last question I feel connected to other people on the spectrum I think strongly well hmm I think strongly agree regardless of where we fall on the spectrum because like say people with more support needs and whatnot um I can relate at a time to my life to kind of like feeling that way and I think that I would still it's not like I wouldn't be friends with someone if they were more if they had more needs or I wouldn't be kind to someone or I still feel connected because we are autistic people and we're very misunderstood and it's only now just becoming more accepted and talked about. Be so, uh, yes, I just do feel connected because I also mentioned in my last video that it just seems really funny that I just so happen to connect with a lot of people who are autistic or have ADHD or other neuro neurodivergent people we just kind of like flock to each other and I can only understand that now knowing know what I know now and with the education that I have now about it because before I didn't really categorize people like that and I still don't really but I can just see like a lot of the characteristics in a lot of those relationships yeah, but I think I'm gonna end the video there today <laughs> hey buddy I gotta finish painting in here and then <laughs> I have so much cleaning to do it's ridiculous Everyone likes a cat, and if you don't like a cat, you've probably never had a cat. And if you have had a cat and you still don't like cats, well, I don't know. <laughs> that means you haven't given them enough pets. <laughs> oh, now he's my friend. 
he was mad at me. He was knocking over the cameras and doing this and that. Okay, so thanks for listening and uh, what did I want to do next? I think the next one I'm planning to do is, I'm completely running out of room, but uh, my next video is just going to be the Jubilee questions about ADHD people and do they agree with the questions? Where do they fall in line? Do a lot of them think the same or not? So. Yes, that will be my next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Not for me, but for my four children. <laughs>